I'm Ivan Astoyant from Mary Solutions. Today I'm going to talk about attached behaviors in Xamarin Forms. The idea is that you can extend object functionality without writing a new control. One of the examples are validation of the user inputs. By default, controls cannot validate on their own, but by attaching a behavior we can overcome this obstacle. A behavior encapsulates pieces of functionality into a reusable component which we can later on attach to an element in a view. It is very example friendly, as we can going to see in the later. In this short demo, I'm going to create an entry that will only allow uh, users to enter digits. So first I'm going to create a new class. I'm going to call it digit behavior. This class is going to be public and is going to override behavior and we're going to pass the UI control that is going to be attached, it is entry. Now I'm going to override two methods on attached to on detaching from. On attached to method is fired immediately after the behavior is attached to the view. Here we should insert code that uh, will run when the behavior is attached to an object. So over here I'm going to subscribe to the text change event of the entry control in order to validate the user input. So it's going to be bindable dot text change and I'm going to create an event handler. So the second method is on detaching from. This method is fired when the behavior is removed from the attached control. Here we should insert code that will run when the behavior is removed from the object. So right now I'm going to remove text change event handler uh, from the previous attached control in order to avoid memory leak. So over here, bindable dot text change. Now I'm going to define a regular expression in order to define a pattern that only accepts the digits. So it's going to be private. I'm going to say it's const digit reg x. Uh, let's move to the text change event handler where we are going to add the validation logic. Entry. Entry. I'm going to need a bool that's going to be is valid. So the entry is sender and we're going to cost it to entry and we're going to now see is the user input valid by calling reg x okay that is matching So we are going to say new text value, which are digit regex expression. And now we're going to set the entry call. So it's so it is valid, it's going to be the default color that is black, and if it's not valid, it's going we're going to set the color to uh, red. text color so 
So it's going to be default or it's going to be red if it's not valid. Let's move on to the XAML file. You can see this is pretty much a simple XAML form with a stack layout and with a label and entry. So let's first uh, declare a namespace in order to use our behavior. So it's going to be, it's going to be let's say, uh, digits. And we are going to say namespace merit dot demo dot digits. Okay, and now let's add a behavior to the entry. So over here we're going to say entry dot behaviors. And let's say digits. And you can see how it recognized the digit behavior. Okay. So let's run the this demo. Here is our app, enter phone number, digits. So if we say one, 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 two, two, three, so you can see it's white. And if we add A, B, C, it's going red. So it's not valid. And if we delete it again, it is valid and it's white. We can also extend this by adding some new functionality. Like if we want to add a button that um, depends on if the user input is valid or not. So let's let's do it. We can say text is call um, horizontal options are start is enabled to bind to the entry is valid but right now the property is just a low so we can easily extend this behavior by adding an uh, bindable property so let's do it first of all i'm going to create now a public static read only bindable property key and i'm going to call it uh, is valid property key and, and it's going to be bindable property dot create read only and we're going to pass now the first is parameter name is valid the second is return type so it's going to be uh, type of bool declaring type is going to be the uh, digit behavior itself And the default type is going to be false. Now, once we have the bindable property key, we can create a bindable property. So it's going to be a public static read only bindable property. And it's going to be called is valid property and 
and is going to be is valid property key dot bindable property and the final step is going to be to create the property itself public bool is valid so it's going to have get method there's going to be return so it's going to be get value of get value of is valid property and we're going to cost it to bool and we also need a setter to be this dot set value to is valid property key value okay now we have the bindable property from the behavior that we can now reference from our button so now we're going to bind to the enter source is going to be reference okay we need the name over here so it's going to be called digit behavior never mind digit behavior and the path is going to be is valid so our bindable property that we create and one last step we should just replace over here so we don't need any more this local instead we're going to use this valid is valid and over here and over here okay and let's run this code okay let's test so the button is currently disabled so if enter some digits so you can see the button right now is enabled and if we enter something that is not valid like some letters again the button is disabled and we get the button is enabled and so on so this was a short demo about attaching behaviors to the control and thank you for watching this video.